What happens when we add heat or remove heat from a body of water? Well, that water can either melt or freeze or boil or condense, or it can change temperature. The terms latent heat and sensible heat describe those processes. Latent heat is energy or heat that's exchanged when a given mass of water or a given body of water changes phase. That means specifically when it goes from being a solid to a liquid or from a liquid to a gas. And it's called latent heat because even though we're adding energy or removing energy from this body of water, the temperature is not changing. And so if you had a thermometer in the water, it would stay the same temperature even though it's changing phase and some of the molecules are either becoming a solid or a liquid or a liquid or a gas. So latent, coming from the Latin word to hide, is because it's kind of like a hidden process. No temperature change occurs during this process. In contrast, sensible heat is energy exchanged with a change in temperature. So if, if there's a puddle of water on the street and it's 15 degrees Celsius and, it's, and you're adding heat to it, it's going to warm up and you're going to be able to measure with a thermometer that it is actually increasing in temperature. So these are the general concepts. The terms latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization are how we actually quantify these physical processes. The latent heat of fusion is the quantity of heat that's exchanged when a unit mass melts or freezes. So this term fusion is referring to this process of melting or freezing, and we know that it's happening at zero degrees Celsius. This amount is 3.3 times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram of water. So more than 300,000 joules are required to melt um, a block of ice, or for example. The latent heat of vaporization, it refers to the same thing and so it's the quantity of heat exchanged when a unit mass, but instead of melting or freezing, it's when it is going to be condensing or vaporizing. So I'm gonna put these little quotes in to say that it's the same definition, but here I'm going to write condense or vaporize. And its magnitude is actually nearly six times bigger. It's 2.3 times 10 to the six joules per kilogram. And this is a process that's happening, again, at about 100 degrees Celsius. So it's taking 2 million joules to take an amount of liquid water and then cause it all to boil away.